What's it say? That's over... that's the original chalk tower as we came yeah, in, isn't it? Yeah. Then, yeah. So you can see it from over there. Yeah. So that's way over there, isn't it? Yeah. That's it's the original the chalk tower. Surviving lighthouse in England. That is what the chalk one. The chalk one over there. Yeah. View, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go for a little walk down to the head. Yeah. It's pleasant, isn't it? Very pleasant. It's about 16 degrees at the moment. Something like that, yeah. You enjoying yourself? Yeah. You enjoying yourself? Over there you've got the steps down onto the beach. 190, 190 steps. So you go back up and do it. I think we'll do that later, Pops. Oh. Yeah, see the sea stacks there. <laughs> this is really dangerous here. <laughs> the uh, edge here. If you can see that, there's some seals yeah. down at the bottom of the coast. Some seals bobbing down, up and bobbing down. And down yeah. He's got a camera as well now. Hey, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Much of that. You can't see that. Oh, no, no. Eight. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We've got four out there. Five. One, two, three, four, five. There's only a six. I saw another one before. Another one there, then. Better yet. Look yeah, you see them? Right, girls, could you just stand still, please? Well... I can't really see this is actually this. I can't really see this. All enjoying the sunshine, yeah. aren't they? Sunbathing. You hear them as well. I think the girls enjoy this. There you go. Pop Tara. 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 Tara, enjoying yourself. It's a grin on my face. Yeah. Go on, let's go and find uh, um, uh, Glyn and Sharon. Forgot their names for a minute. Eh? <laughs> There's a cafe here as well, isn't there, somewhere? Up the top there, yeah. yeah, by the lighthouse. Yeah, no, this has been really. Really interesting. Lovely weather. Beautiful weather. I probably won't get this weather if we come again. Come on. Yeah, just brilliant. And a glorious day as well. Yeah, very nice. A bit of a view out as well. 
You go now, tell your pops. See you then. That's one big scoop, isn't it? There you go. <laughs> Lynn's having a ham salad. It's cheap, isn't it? I'm, 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 I'm half vegetarian. Go on then. Go on. Come on then. Hundred and ninety steps apparently. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking a little walk down to the down to the beach, a little walk, 190 steps down. No one else has volunteered to come with me, apart from Poppy, of course. Come here. Just wait a minute, girls. Come here. Wait, 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 wait. Come on. Let's just have a look. Go on then. Nearly there. No, it pops. These are some of the oldest chalk cliffs in England. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Come on. Another chalk here. Slippy these are. Huh? They're all right. Where are we going then, Popsy? A little bit slippy here. Up. Take some pictures, Pops, hey? Nice one. Puppy. Little uh, cockles and mussels here. Going for a swim, pups. Hey. What do you reckon, Pops? Hey? Poppy? Poppy? Come on, let's go this way. Or should we go that way? 
Wouldn't it be better that way, Pops? Hey. Poppy decided she was going back up the stairs. Come on down now. Not finished down here yet. Poppy's off. Oh, God. It's all right for her with her four legs. Come on. Thanks. Come on then. So it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get in here. This is the famous chalk tower at Flamborough Head, built in 1674 as a lighthouse by John, Sir John Clayton and partner Sir uh, George Blake, who were granted additional patents from Charles II to build lighthouses at Farne Islands, Cromer, Lowestoft and Portman Bill. It's 98 steps to the top, uh, where a fire could be lit on the flat roof. No evidence to suggest a fire was ever lit but a fire burned in a metal basket hanging over the parapet oh, sorry. Sorry. as a 17th century lighthouse at Brandaris, Holland. Ships passing the tower were supposed to pay Clayton a tax to support provision of the fires based on the cargo of their weight. Paying the tax was voluntary and so many mariners refused which reduced Clayton to bankruptcy and the end of the lighthouse as such. So it's constructed of brilliant white chalk, a visible beacon from afar, land, at, land and sea, and it was a signal point, particularly useful. The semaphore telegraphy was devised by Claude Chap in 1792 for transmitting visual coded messages with coloured flags or a frame fixed to the top of a tower, holding two boards or paddles which moved to connect the message like a mechanical internet. Yes, yeah, so it had a mechanical internet tower could have worked in conjunction with the fort in Bridlington transmitting messages during the Napoleonic Wars as fear of French invasion was widespread and in the middle of the 19th century local man George Mainprise signalled passing vessels in semaphore with waving flags from the top of the tower and since 1952 Chalk Tower has been listed grade 2 as a beacon tower in 1996 received a major restoration uh, funded by the East Yorkshire Borough Council and English heritage and it seems to be in the middle of a golf course yes and we can't get in there no so there you go so the towers so the tower's so famous you can't get in it but yeah amazing building so Glenn decided to do a bit of off-roading and he's brought us to some caves where the parking is shut so we don't know how far it is to to walk so oh, there's a sign over there okay a rather worrying map there showing people falling off cliffs okay getting there yeah there'll be caves over there won't there Pyramids there, aren't they? Well, it's been a fantastic day out here, and the weather has been unbelievable. Like 16 degrees, and you wouldn't believe it's sort of well mid to end of March. But yeah, it's been absolutely brilliant. 
And if you haven't already, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, please give us a subscribe. Hit that notifications icon and we'll catch up with you in the next one. But I've got some more video left, hopefully. So I thought I'd just do an ending. Yeah, there's a series of memorials here. Various people, which is lovely. I mean, who would not love this place? What an amazing place it is. Yeah, I think I'm going to draw the line going down there. But obviously you've got all the caves and everything you could explore. I think you need at least a day here. Yeah, over there is the steps down. All the way down. Well that is most definitely it. I'm completely done in now. <laughs> I will sleep well tonight. Yeah, so thanks for taking us, Glenn. You're welcome. And take, take me back to my motorhome, please, Jeeves. <laughs> <laughs>